Community Partnership Pilot has been an 18-month exploration of best practices around elevating the voices of those with lived experience. The Center for Healthcare Strategies worked with two county entities on partnering with consumers to collaborate on ways to improve the health and well-being of community members. Through this project, the Los Angeles Department of Health Services convened the Reentry Health Advisory Collaborative, an 11-member advisory group of formerly incarcerated individuals who are providing real-time feedback on the healthcare and social needs of the justice-involved community. Hennepin Healthcare has worked with community engagement leaders through a human-centered design approach to better understand the barriers and facilitators to accessing behavioral health services within the Somali community. This is a discussion with program staff and community members who offer some insight on why it's critical for healthcare and county entities to engage with those with lived experience and share some lessons learned on how this approach can help build community power. When you have the people with lived experience, there's also that trust between people, you know, so people know uh, what you, you know, what you're going for, through and, and, you know, and all those things. So I think that's a, a big part of it. And also coming from the, the perspective of being um, up here, rather than telling someone, you know, this is what you need. It's asking someone, you know, and, and going through it with them. There's those little nuances that I know that goes on in my community that you of another race just don't know. You just miss it. And it's, it's key into getting to the core of what's going on with that person. Diane, Diamond, Myra, um, they, since the beginning, I feel like they've always validated us, like not only myself, but I feel like they've always validated us and they've always tried to uplift us. So even when like I felt unsure, you know, they reassured me that, you know, I'm here for a reason and my opinion is just as good as like some top level county official, you know, because I, me and the rest of the RAC, we bring in that a different perspective. In our community, it's, it's just having that connection. And I think building connection and building community is huge. And once, once that trust is established, the thing about having an oral com community and tradition um, is that word spreads like wildfire. You don't need emails, you don't need papers or anything. If someone has a great experience, she's calling her sister, she's calling her aunt, she's calling her mom, and the circle and the networks just continues to grow. The design approach we used with the Somali Mental Health Community Partnership um, Project um, allowed to have, um, to sort of create an equal table where community members sat across the table from medical professionals. And the, that, that kind of equalizing of that, of that approach, I think really created a way for um, um, that community voice and community power to actually be more present in the way in which we went about that work. And it was, and because of that approach, it really was involvement in different stages of the project, all the way from exploration of the problem and opportunity, all the way to really testing and, and creating something we could try to make a difference. Took away the, the hierarchy or the power that comes with titles, particularly in a medical context. So people that were there, whether they were a position of influence or a, a, a physician, um, that was un, unknown. They were there as an individual and by a first name and really connecting with people on a human to human basis. And I think that that was part of why that approach that we did was successful because it removed some of the power differential and gave people the chance to talk person to person for sharing and vulnerability. I think the community engagement leaders certainly experienced that empowerment to develop new skills, to be able to apply them, to, and that builds capacity within a community right there. I think inviting the broader group leads to more as if those decisions are shared then there's more um, sense of shared power in that that it's not the process of providing your input and then someone goes off and makes a decision i think the way those were run there was a sense that community was involved very much in determining what was coming next have to share this really amazing information about 
mental health with the community that I live with. So I, in the, and they decided for me a flyer that I put all over the apartment, the elevator, the um, communal room, and it generated, it generated really a buzz about what is mental health. Then the day of the meeting, people when they came and I opened about talking about mental health, they surprised you. They said, I have never had meeting about exclusively about mental health. So it was exciting. The rack wouldn't have been possible. Um, the shifting of alternatives to incarceration from like a consensus building approach, a lived experience approach, elevating the voices of those most impacted and using human centered language. Those things would not have been at the center of the conversation if we had not been hired in some form of you know, middle management, uh, some form of leadership position. Elevating a voice, engaging is not the same as valuing and transforming. Um, and so, you know, just because folks are at the table, that is a great first step. And the, the, I, the prize that we're seeking is real collaboration, integration, um, and power, honestly, for folks, you know, who have been impacted to, to change things.